Welcome back everybody. Uh, in the tutorial where I showed everyone how to change the color of the comments inside of Atom, uh, another question popped up where it says, hey, how do I change the punctuation or the beginning mark for the comment, whether that's the two forward slashes or the pound sign. So I was able to find a solution to do this and I wanted to share that with you real quick. Uh, so first what we need to do is we need to go into our style sheet. So we'll go to our style sheet here. And what we can see is, hey, here's how we change the color of the comment. Uh, but now since we want to change just the punctuation side of this, what we're going to do is we're just going to first make a comment so we know what we're doing. Uh, change comment punctuation color. And then from there, what we're going to do is we are going to call out the classes that are important to us, which is the Atom text editor, like before. And then we're going to call out, just like above, the syntax comment class. And then in addition, we are going to call out the syntax punctuation class. Now what this is going to do is it is going to target just the first section of the comment, the punctuation indicator. Again, the slash slash or the pound. So I'm going to call my color color, color. Um, I'm just going to do red to make it super obvious. And then once I'm ready, I can going to hit uh, control S to save it. And you can see that the punctuation marks are now red. Uh, if we go back to my original file here, we can also see the forward slashes are red and the pound sign hashtag, whatever you want to call it is red as well. Delineating like, Hey, this is the beginning of the comment. This is the indicator for it. And then the comment color itself is green. Um, if for some reason you don't like your changes, uh, you can always go back here. You can change your color or you can just comment out or delete uh, the CSS that we just added. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Uh, make sure to ask those questions because that's going to drive the videos I make in the future. And you never know, I might reply with a video like I'm about to right now uh, with a solution to your problem. Till next time, have a great day.